good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all the guests attending this meeting, and it is my pleasure to have this opportunity to present my research, which is titled Can Barons Appreciate and Use Green Infrastructure GI in Normal Time and During Shock Events? So by green infrastructure, it refers to an interconnected network of many different individual natural elements. And the focus of my research has been on the individual elements of green infrastructure. And I've been focusing on street trees, parks and ovals, and nature reserves. And for those of you that are not familiar with where Canberra is, Canberra is the capital of Australia, and it is located in the Australian Capital Territory, the ACT, just about three hours drive south of Sydney. And Canberra's urban forest is its most distinguishing form of green infrastructure, leading it to be known colloquially as the bush capital of Australia. And this urban forest has expanded over time. Canberrans have very good access to green infrastructure with the highest level of access to public open space and green space among major Australian cities. And there are currently about 766,000 trees on public land. And the importance of maintaining and improving the quality of Canberra's green infrastructure is well recognized by the ACT government. And with the establishment of the ACT climate change strategy, uh, which has highlighted the role of green infrastructure in fighting climate change, and it will be accompanied by Canberra's living infrastructure plan which proposed targets to achieve 30% tree canopy cover and 30% permeable service by 2045. Now, now bring this kind of idea or concept of shock events, which are large scale, unpredictable events. And these shock events will impact people's living, restrict and restrict their activity. And for residents in Canberra, these are the 2019 to 20 bushfire and its associated small case and the current COVID-19 pandemic. And during my research, I have identified two knowledge gaps related to green infrastructure. And the first one is related to the association between access to green infrastructure and well-being in Canberra. But for many studies globally and necessarily have analyzed this association. There isn't much research in this area in Canberra. Therefore, it was worthwhile for me to investigate what factors are significant in this association in Canberra. And the other one is related to understanding residents' use and perceptions of green infrastructure. And this is because green infrastructure provides a lot of benefits to people, but it is unknown what Canberrans think about it and how they use it. And in particular, it is unknown whether the usage and perceptions have changed as a result of the two shock events. And to explore the association between access to GI and well-being in Canberra, I collected survey data and conducted some analysis. And the results have shown that there is indeed an association between access to green infrastructure and well-being in Canberra as having good access to nature reserves, spending time outdoor and going to nature or conservation reserves or having a statistically significant impact on the respondents' positive and negative well-being. However, the variable for going to parks and ovals was deemed statistically insignificant in my research. And therefore, it can be inferred from the significance of the nature reserve variable and the insignificance of the parks and ovals variable that the nature of green infrastructure matters in this association. And to explore Canberra's use and perceptions of green infrastructure, I conducted another survey and collected and carried out some qualitative analysis. And in terms of use of green infrastructure, usage of all kinds of green infrastructures has decreased during the bushfire. And it was a time where it was just really unpleasant to go outside. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, green infrastructures have changed, but it was more divided instead of being one-sided as in the bushfire times. 
And because Canberra wasn't put under any severe restriction during my research period, which was last year, and some people went out and used and access green infrastructure during that time, while some decided not to go out anymore. And the greatest decrease in GI usage was for those that are further away. But overall, during the two shock events, Canberrans have preferred accessing green infrastructures that are nearer to their home, and they have preferred accessing parks and ovals over nature reserves or conservation reserves. And in terms of perceptions of green infrastructure, during the bushfires, people have shown an increased level of awareness of bushfire risks. And many respondents want the local ACT government to improve its current management of green infrastructure. And they have identified several areas that requires improvement. So and they've been making many different suggestions as to where improvement is needed and what else the ACT government needs to do. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, while some people have viewed accessing green infrastructure as kind of a getaway experience, especially when many people were spending a lot of time at their home or they were working remotely at home. And on the other hand, there were also concerns about the possibility of COVID-19 transmission and especially during visits of visit while visiting green infrastructure and contacting crowds. So people were a little bit concerned about this aspect when they were accessing or when they are thinking about green infrastructure during the pandemic. But overall, Canberrans have shown an increased level of appreciation of and support for green infrastructure. And this is something that is really great because people are valuing green infrastructure and they are seeing its value, seeing its benefit. And even after perhaps the bushfire, which might, which I have initially thought it might have a negative impact on people's perception, that wasn't the case. People didn't just say they do not want green infrastructure, but they still recognize it, but just say that they see rooms for improvement in current management. And this brings me to the end of my presentation and thank you all.